Hey, Lala. You join me here in the editing room, here in the future, after this video. So, I'm here to tell you that we had a lot of equipment issues. I don't know why, apparently international travel made my stuff break. So, there's going to be a fair bit of this video without audio, just me talking over it. We did the best we could with what we had. But anyway, enjoy, Lala. Enjoy this video. How's it going? Um, today's the day. Today's the day I'm flying out, unless something changes. I don't know. I mean, I should feel excited about it, but it's been so many years in the making. I just, um, it doesn't feel real yet. Anyway, I've got everything packed. Um, it's the morning. Um, I just got to finish sorting out a few things, like stuff that I want sent after me and um, stuff that I'm going to have tossed. And also this. And I made a deal with him to help me get back to Japan. I gave him the one eye when we made the deal. And now today's the day, la la. Today's the day. After all these years, my friend, you get your second eye. Not the best job in the world. <laughs> but now you got you both your eyes, mate. And this is it, la la. My room here, where I've been living for God knows how many years. It's time to leave. I don't have any profound words to say. Some of it's gonna be coming later, and some of it, like this stuff, I'm just gonna get rid of. There you go. I guess I'll see you at the airport, Lala. Oh, and here we are, all the duty-free shops. It's been so long since I've uh, walked for all this duty-free stuff at airports, right? I know, is it even worth buying this? I don't think I've ever bought much stuff, but there you go. It's been a long time, Lala, since you've uh, walked through the departures gate of Sydney Airport, I reckon. Yeah, look at all this stuff you could get your perfumes. Mmm, lovely. There we go, the Mac is over there. We did get something from that, I can't remember what it was, a speed hole. <laughs> oh look, and here we are on the plane. A and A. Finally. And it's time to say goodbye to Sydney Lala. It's time to say goodbye. Look at that. Out the window. Oh, bye bye. Oh, you can't even believe it, can you? That we're actually going. And here we are taking off wheels, lifting off of the tarmac in Sydney, leaving Australia behind, heading off to Japan. Ooh, I'm watching it. It's been a couple of weeks, actually, since this has been recorded. And so I'm watching it back. It doesn't even feel real. Like, kind of feels like a dream, all that taken off from there. It's strange. And off we go. Oh, let's see. I know what this next clip coming up is. Yeah, look at this. I made sure to get these airplane adapters. I had three of them with me. And now they just use a standard plug. So that, all that... <laughs> I was being so careful making sure I got those. And here's the meal. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. It was a pretty decent meal. No more jokes about airplane food. You know, the thing about airplane food is it's, it's actually all right. Yeah. Oh, let me show you the dessert here, Lala. I can't remember what it was. It was berry flavored. It was a pretty nice ice cream. You know I love ice cream. Good night, Lala. It's time to go to bed. As you can see, actually, on this flight, everyone got a row to themselves, so I was actually able to lie down for the first time ever, and maybe ever on a flight. Oh. Good morning, Lala. Waking up early in the morning, about to land in Tokyo. Ooh, boy. I was feeling it by then. I got a few hours rest, but it wasn't all that much.
Uh, a nice foggy day flying in. It was pretty atmospheric, I have to say. But yeah, let's let's just enjoy this. Let's just enjoy the landing, finally touching down in Japan. I'm gonna, you know, shut up for a second, and you can just take in this footage here. And there we go, touchdown in Tokyo. Finally, Lala, finally we've made it back. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy. And here we go. Uh, so, we got through the airport all right. It took a while. There's all this extra steps we had to do, all these extra bays you had to stop at and get tests and show paperwork and all this sort of stuff. But we got through it without any problems. It took a few hours. And we got out, we got our bag, and we're taking the trip here on the monorail. I've got a good story I need to tell you about um, what I did with my luggage, Lala, but... <laughs> oh, I should tell it now. See, the thing is, I was getting ready to move, right? And I was in such a rush and, you know, such a head spin trying to get everything done, uh, trying to get prepared for the move, that I looked on the website for a and &A, and it's, I saw like, you know, 23 kilograms, two pieces of luggage. I'm like, okay, so I have to pack everything into two, 20, you know, two pieces of luggage, 22, 23 kilograms. But I didn't realize I'm such an idiot. I didn't notice until I got given a little chart that showed it, you know, little, little picture. Um, when in the check-in, once I got to the airport, it was each piece was 23. So I only took half of what I could have taken. <laughs> I only left all that shit behind for no reason. Oh god. I'm so stupid. Yeah. There, there's the monorail trip over there. Watch the monorail go, la la. Bye, monorail. See you later. Hmm. Oh well. Let's continue on through Tokyo to get to the JR station where the bullet train is. I tried to tell myself that it wasn't such a big deal that I um, left it. Oh, never mind. See, look at this. Watch the bike. This is one way you can park your bikes in Japan, at least in some places. Watch that bike go. Whing! Bye bye, bike. And hello puppy. Yeah, the bike um, goes underground. They store them underground there. Pretty cool. But yeah, as I say, I tried to um, convince myself that it was fine that I only took half the luggage I did. It's like, oh yeah, it's kind of hard to move two pieces of luggage for half a day. It was wasn't really really worth it in the end to have taken all of it. Ugh. Yeah, this is the first time I've been in this station, and we're going to take the. The um, bullet train, buy bullet train ticket here. Watch this, la la. We're gonna, we're gonna purchase it. There's not much to it, really. You just, um, with cash, just buy a ticket. It feels weird to me, right? Because there's no high speed rail in Australia, so I feel like for high speed rail like this, it feels more like a plane sort of thing. It just feels weird that you can just, you know, use this machine here, select, you know, the station you're coming from, where you're gonna go. And your day and all that sort of stuff here. <laughs> and how many people. There's a few buttons to press, but it's very straightforward, you know? And it felt unusual to me. It felt like it should be more involved getting a ticket to go on the train. Basically, yeah. We get our ticket and we head on through the gates. La la, we head on through the gates. There you go. That's what it looks like. And head on through. 
and have a look on the other side on the bullet train platforms they've got all these extra shops to buy food and gifts from after you've already come through the gates all this sort of as you'll see bullet train themed kind of things we pick up one for ourselves Lala, for lunch yes we do yes we do mm-hmm so Lala I kid you not I come here to get some delicious ekiben or um, station lunchbox here or train lunchbox I don't know uh, after I've gone to the toilet there and you would not believe it but um, now my gimbal has stopped working so I don't know if the footage has survived because it says about formatting the SD card but I'm just gonna uh, keep going with the phone and hopefully we can recover this you know this is probably the most important um, video that I've recorded for you so far but everything's trying to stop it from working but we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work Lala we please enjoy this footage of the train pulling in and just for this little bit with the bullet train I'm going to shut up and let you just enjoy the ambience Lala I'm trying to be super quiet because the walls are super thin here. You gotta be quiet apart from the yelling man out in the hallway before. But anyway, I'll show you the room and stuff, but right now I'm gonna sleep. It's been a while since I've slept. Uh. 